Hey sis, how are you? Does this look familiar? You get your hands ready to do some cleaning in the house and then you get your supplies together to get started. May I offer you a different option? Instead, use your hands and go to Angels with Experience on the website and book our Angels with Experience to come directly to you to do the cleaning for you. And the only thing that you will have to do with your hands is open up the front door to let them in to get started. Here at A Woman's Essentials, it's not about changing what we do, but how we do it. Now you can relax and maximize the time that you have doing what you love while being fun, free, and fabulous in your respective jobs and careers. Sis, you are so worth it. And we are here for you. See you soon. amazing how are you pull up your chair grab your favorite drink let's talk all about the colors of sister friends and community tell me what has been your experience with friendship and sisterhood do you have your girls that are your best friends or are you looking to connect with women to build a sisterhood with sis tell your sister friends to come join us this is going to be good let's go I am so grateful to be surrounded by all amazing women in my life. Each of them are unique in their own way. And the love is the foundation of our sisterhood. I want to open up this mural by highlighting one of my sister friends to come and create and color and collaborate all about the colors of sisters. Let's go. You, I have here with me Shawnice that I want you to meet. Hello, Shawnice, welcome to The Colors of You. I'm so, so excited and awe-inspired to finally have you here. Well, thanks for having me, Good. my angel. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to jump in and talk about how Shawnice and I met. And I think this will be good for any type of scenario. Like for example, if you already have your core group of sisters, your best friends, or if you are in a situation or a space where you want to meet and connect with other women um, to have that sisterhood, I think this story will inspire you and apply to both, situ both situations. So we're gonna see how this goes because you know how two, two people have two stories and see how <laughs> what we remember collectively, right? It's right? gonna be funny. Um, so what do you remember about that phone call? Well, I remember that was a, a very, very exciting phone call because <laughs> um, when you called me, I was actually um, starting a daycare at right. that time. Mm -hmm. And you were, I don't know if you were pregnant. What? No, you. I had, I had Joseph. You had Joseph. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you were looking for care for him. And so she called me and I answered, you know, just basic questions that any mother would ask um, looking for childcare. And at the time, I don't think I was open, open, but mm -hmm. I was in a process of being open. Mm -hmm. But you know, sometimes when you start a business and you want to get that mm -hmm. that first sale, mm -hmm. then you're, you're like, okay, yeah, what do you ask? <laughs> mm -hmm. So she, you ask me all kinds of questions. But what stood out to me mm -hmm. is when I asked you a mm -hmm. question and mm -hmm. I asked, well, how many children do you have? <laughs> At the time, she was only looking for care uh, for one mm -hmm. or two. It was a possible two. Possible two. It was a possible yeah. two. Mm -hmm. But I said, well, how many children do you have in all? And she said, six. Five. No, it was five. It was five. It was five. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. Now, at that time, we had three. I just never met or talked to anyone other than my grandparents in their generation mm -hmm. that had four or more children at that time. Mm -hmm. So I was in awe. I said, hmm, interesting. How do you do it? So tables turned. 
I started asking all of the questions then. Right, right. I was going for it. <laughs> it was no longer about child care at that point mm -hmm. because as a mom, um, I, I stopped going to work because I wanted to stay home with my children. Mm -hmm. And at that time, juggling my kids by myself um, while my husband was at work, it was a lot. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. when you told me you had five, Oh, four on the five I was I, I, I said okay I, I'm gonna have to ask you, you some questions I said because you have to be an expert you know how do you do it that was the mm -hmm. first question I was like how in the mm -hmm. world do you do it mm -hmm. and so I you know we kept I kept asking questions but then I said I have to meet you mm -hmm. and she came over after I, it was a few days she came mm -hmm. over she brought the entire family with her mm -hmm. long story short um, I did end up taking care of her son and her daughter but that's that's the beginning that's that the, beginning the beginning of how we how we connected now mind you you were pregnant at the time too I was I was pregnant <laughs> and so that is why I was so interested in meeting you because mm -hmm. um, we had three mm -hmm. and I was going I was on my on my fourth mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. I, I wasn't where you were mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I was close You're and close. I said yeah. you know mm -hmm. and I always mm -hmm. I've always been the type of person that if you know you want to go somewhere or you want you aspire to be like someone mm -hmm. or something that you should always either read about them find out their story or connect mm -hmm. with them somehow mm -hmm. and so at that point I felt like Angel was the person <laughs> that I needed to connect with because I was on my way to where you are, <laughs> where you were at the time. So, so cool to hear your side of the story. Mm -hmm. um, and I think for me, um, up until that moment, I had not, um, my interaction or my introduction to friendship was usually through a friend of a friend or school, work, church, home. It was some type of public setting, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, that was different for me because here I was calling, trying to find childcare, like she said, for two of my children, and it sprung into a whole nother conversation. Um, but I was intrigued too because I was like, "Oh wow, this here is a woman who has three kids of the three, three and the for one on the way, and she was getting ready to start back with her childcare business." And I saw that she had. Um, an entrepreneur uh, spirit about her mm -hmm. um, and so we'll get into that a little bit later but that that also um, spoke to me as well because it, it, at that point in my life and my journey I was actually looking for childcare to help me so that I could begin to build what I'm standing here talking to you about now mm -hmm. um, so that was a aha moment mm -hmm. <laughs> on so many levels that I I had no idea that that phone call was going to um, connect us in that way and lead to a, a really um, beautiful friendship, sisterhood. Mm -hmm. um, so to continue to be open to however that setting looks like, whatever, if it's a phone call, if it's a text, or just meeting somebody um, in an unlikely place that you just didn't expect, um, right. brought something very beautiful into um, my life. And I love her dearly. Hey sis, what did you think about that story? Tell me, how did you meet your sister friend? Let me know, I would love to hear from you. One thing that resonates with me about it is that you have to be open to however God connects you with your sister friend. He writes the most beautiful stories, I promise. Have an all amazing color filled day and night. I cannot wait until next time when we create color and collaborate all about the colors of you. Hey sis, does this look familiar? You make a list, you get in your car, you get a cart, then you load all the items that you want into the cart. Then you have to unload that cart and put it on the belt to check out. Then after everything's bagged up, then you put it back in the cart. Only to do moments later, then you have to take all that stuff and put it in your car. And then when you get home, you have to unload all that stuff into your house and then think about dinner. Mm. Does that make you tired? Well, here at A Woman's Essentials, it's not about changing what we do, but how we do it. Our loving staff of Angels with Experience will super serve you by shopping for your items at the store and delivering them to your front door. Ah, you know that sounds good, right? 
And by doing so, you get a return of your time and your energy so that you can maximize the time you do have doing what you love while being fun and free and fabulous in your respective jobs and careers. All you have to do is go to angelswithexperience.com and sign up for a Harmony consultation with your list in hand. And we will see you soon.